Hello everyone, welcome to the Jewish Week Online. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. How do you combine Jewishness, love, and life into a book? We had the opportunity to speak with author Perielle Ashenbrand about her new book, Amani's, a memoir. Let's take a special look. Whenever you start a process, um, a creative process, um, it's, a, it's an exciting time. And uh, in developing your, your book, um, you have uh, a lot of emotion. Uh, that's within. Um, tell us a little bit about why you decided uh, to write this book. A lot of motion or emotion? Emotion. <laughs> <laughs> and motion. Motion. Um, it's an interesting question that I'm never quite sure how to answer because I don't really think that it was um, so much entirely a conscious decision. I mean certainly the act of saying okay I'm going to write a book now um, is a decision, but I always feel like the, the book sort of writes itself. Um, I don't ever really have like, an agenda, I think. Like, I don't outline, I don't, I'm not like, oh, I want to write a book about this. Um, in fact, this book started, like, as a different book that was 500 pages that I pretty much set on fire. <laughs> and then pilfered from myself to turn into On My Knees. Um, and it's really very natural, like a really organic, natural uh, pr progression for me. Um, it's only afterwards that I go back and I start to shape it. And like I see that like, okay, here's the narrative. So there's a, there's, there's a lot of Jewishness uh, yeah. in the book. Um, in spite of myself. <laughs> So, like, what what was important to you uh, to put into the book um, and connecting uh, your Jewishness uh, to um, then explaining to readers um, what that means to you? Um, I th I think that it's true that the Jewishness is sort of in spite of myself. <laughs> I mean, I think no matter what, like, I'm really. Um, it's a big part of my identity, even though I'm not sort of like actively religious um, or anything like that. I think that culturally it's a big part of my identity. Um, my mother's Israeli, um, so I grew up really enmeshed in that culture. Um, and I think that I think that what's important to me is. Um, the humor, I think that that's a really big thing that um, is important and that it's um, rooted in something that has some gravitas, you know, that it's not, um, that it's not gratuitous. How do you sum up uh, your book? Oh God. <laughs> I think it's a love story, um, honestly. I think that um, I think that it's a lot about um, taking risks, that you have to take risks in life to accomplish anything. Um, and I think that in a certain way, it's, um, it really speaks to the human condition. I mean, I think that I'm talking about things that everybody has experienced um, in one way or another, whether it's a breakup or a broken heart or a terrible hookup, or um, their parents, um, or falling in love, or having your heart broken, and really trying to keep a sense of humor about it all, and keeping things in perspective, and um, trying to r really have a bit of a sense of humor about yourself, even even in the darkest of moments. One of the things that um, it, I mean, it's exciting, especially in your life now, you're, you're going to be a mother. Now looking back yeah. uh, at at the process of your book, mm -hmm. um, is, is there anything is like wow? Like I can't believe this is actually happening. Like <laughs> all this. Well, I can't believe I'm gonna have a baby. That's for sure. I mean, that certainly right. wasn't in the um, plan when I was writing the book. That's for, I mean, that was the last thing I ever expected I'd be doing right now. Um, I also would have never expected to have gotten married, though, you know? I mean, I didn't even know Guy when 
I started writing that book. So, I mean, as I say in the book, that was a one-night stand that went terribly awry. And look at me now, right. <laughs> nine months pregnant. I don't know if you can tell from this, but... Yeah, no, it's, uh, I think it's a, a nice culmination in that you... Yeah, you, me too. You, I wouldn't change any of it. But that's might. the thing. I mean, you know, that's, I guess, what I'm saying. When you open yourself up to the possibilities, you just never know. I mean, I think I say in the book a couple of times that things rarely work out the way you expect them to, but sometimes they work out better. You know, and isn't there a really famous Jewish expression actually that's like um, we make plans and God laughs? Yeah, yeah. That's it. it's one of those things where you know if, if you can look back at your life and then just for like even a couple of seconds and realize where you are now, it, it, it's amazing how how well, things evolve and change and and realize that these little things made a difference to where you are today. And it's Absolutely. Just, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I think I have a really, like I said, you know, I'm not religious at all, but I think that I have a really um, huge trust in the universe, you know, that like things really do work out the way that they're supposed to. You can purchase On My Knees and Memoir on Amazon. It really is a great read, which brings Jewish to the forefront and shows you how life can take many different paths. At the end of the day, everything always works out. This is Aaron Herman. Thank you for watching.